Hey there, fourth graders. I just wanted to do a quick science review with you. Um, in looking at your responses uh, to the science discussions last couple weeks, I noticed that there was a bit of maybe a misunderstanding about what rotation is and what revolution is and how they're different. So I want to do a couple quick uh, reviews and demonstrations for you to show you what each of those are. So rotation, these are two words, but what I want you to take away from this video is what rotation is and what revolution is, how they're different and what they are, okay? So to start with, I want to look at the definition. The earth moves around the sun and also spins. Here's the key part. Rotation is the act of spinning. So rotation is spinning. Now to demonstrate that, uh, I've grabbed a wiffle ball that I had at home, and if you look, I've made little red dashes all the way around, but I've left some white in between them. And this is supposed to represent like Earth, okay? So it's spinning a little bit right now, but what rotation is, is if I were to go like this. Well, that's... Now if you look, that's, it's also doing a little other movement, but the rotation, what rotation is, is that this is spinning in a circle. And you know that spinning, you can see that my red dashes become a red line. I'm going to spin it the other way now. And you can see that the red dashes that I made now appear to be a red line because it's spinning so fast that they blur together. It's an optical illusion, if you will, because the red lines aren't actually touching. It's just the ball spinning so fast. This is rotation. Rotation is spinning. So say that with me. Rotation is spinning. So you can see that this ball is spinning. What is rotation? Rotation is spinning. You can see that that's spinning right there. Now, what is the difference between rotation and revolution? Rotation is spinning. we got to go a couple pages ahead here. You'll probably jump two on me for some reason. Okay, here we go. Revolution is the other word. Rotation is spinning. Revolution is when one object travels around another. So, rotation is spinning. Revolution is when one object travels around another. The path a revolving object takes is its orbit. So, the Earth can, is always spinning. We're spinning all the time. You don't realize that because you're attached to the Earth. You're actually spinning with the Earth. But we're also going in a path around the sun. And it's that revolution that helps cause our seasons. Not the rotation. It's the revolution that causes the seasons. It's the rotation that causes the day. Now, what revolution is, without spinning this, I'm going to try and show you what revolution is. So I'm going to take this ball and I'm going to throw it. And you can see that the ball goes out and it makes a path. If I put this ball right in the middle, you'll see that the wiffle ball is traveling around this little foam ball and it's never touching. Now, this is going to run out of energy. It's going to run out of uh, kinetic energy eventually and its orbit gets smaller and smaller. But you can see that this has an orbit. If I throw it out there, goes out and around and back and around. There it hit the smart board. But that is revolution. Revolution is that it's going out and I could put that ball in the middle and it's not going to touch it. It's going around the ball. Okay? And that path that it's taking is its orbit. Now, what I want to show you with uh, the day and night, I can't really show you the seasons. This is maybe the best way to show you day and night is when this is spinning you can see that if it's constantly spinning a different part of the circle is going to face the flashlight every single every second this is going around so if this were a planet days would be very very fast it's how fast that this goes around in a circle so now I want to show you how the Earth can be doing rotation. Rotation is spinning, 
and revolution, which is going around the sun at the same time. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this thing wind down because it, once it gets spun up, you can see it's kind of spinning on its own right now. We're going to let it calm down, get to a point where it's maybe not spinning as much. Okay, so there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to spin it so that it's rotating, but also it's going to have a revolution. It's going to have an orbit. And so I'm going to try and do that. And then once I get that going, I'm going to take this, and this is going to represent like a, the sun. Obviously, the sun would be bigger than our planet, but uh, for this demonstration, I just want to show you how it can be spinning and going around the sun at the same time. So here we go. There you see the spin. I'm going to put this in the middle. It's rotating. You can see it's spinning because the red line is completely together and it's going around it. It's not touching. And I'm not moving that. It's getting pretty close because it's running out of energy. But again, if I spin it, this time I'm going to try and spin it the other way. Well, that didn't give me a very good orbit. I didn't get very much outward. There we go. And I put this in the middle. You can see that this is spinning, has rotation, and revolution. The revolution is that it goes around this, and I'm not really moving that. So anyway, the point of this review lesson is for you to know the difference between revolution and rotation. Rotation is the spin. Rotation is spin. Revolution is the going around something in an orbit. Okay? So uh, the discussion here, what I want you to remember is rotation equals spinning revolution wasn't a very good revolution throw, is when something has an orbit and goes around. All right, guys. See you later.